I don't know when or where this next event happens, however, I think this might be in front of the West Steps. He is with Freedom Daily, a conservative really? news outlet. Yeah. Whatever their views are, yeah, I'm yeah, sure. the press and has just a person who has the right to be them. And you know, we all project what we can't accept about ourselves onto others. We call them the other. In psychology, it's the enemy. We otherize the enemy. We demonize them. We dehumanize them. We can point the finger and say, it's them, it's not me. They're ignorant. Which, of course, is just a delusion maintained by the ego. And what the ego denies is itself becomes the shadow. It is projected outwards yeah, onto others, like a movie projector projecting onto the screen, and we see the other as the enemy, as the witch, the heretic, the infidel, the conservator, the libertard, the dirty hippie, the Nazi. Here it is first from the point of view of the Freedom Daily Guy. We're called Freedom Daily. Yeah, We're right. libertarian. Propaganda. We know full well who you are. I'm also a gay man, and you We're do an not represent LLC. true America. I don't okay? give a fuck who you are. You gotta get the fuck out of here right now. No. These are the people. The yeah. real are the people. We the we people. Are not you are not our side. You're not give not a corporations. Fuck. Not we are veterans. Hey, my phone. <laughs> we are veterans. You're just getting baptized. Don't worry about it. That's okay? fine. Right. Also, now we're also, media. I'm also Christian. Yeah, you're right. Dick is what you your are. Corp, Get the your fuck corporation. out of here. And, and your so, face. Don't do you take my in free fucking yeah, right. picture. Do you believe you in free speech? Shit? Free speech is about the government controlling speech, not about no, no, no. the people. We is all it get to talk. Freedom of speech. Not just you. I fought to protect free speech. I'm reporting. That's all I'm doing. Good for you. Are you, and do you I'm believe in free speech? I'm getting your fucking face because I don't fucking like you. Now get the well, fuck out of here. That's pretty awesome. I'm you glad get, you, you like it. You can get in my face all you want. No, you. So if you're reporting, what's your storyline? What's my storyline? Yeah. That there was a stabbing. Are you a real reporter? And there, are, there's a yeah. freedom our of speech. Our people got stabbed. I know exactly. Our people got stabbed. Gary, Gary told me right. all about it. Gary told me all about it. Victory march, all Gary, my friend, Gary, told me all about it. You so everybody know Gary? Why don't you ask those people that stabbed our people what freedom I, of speech I is? I just interviewed oh, wow. Gary for right. ten minutes, back, and he no. I'm talking to him. I'm interviewing people. We're about to go on a march. You're not interviewing. I'm interrupting. Get the fuck out of here. No, no, no. Nah. Let's go nah, to the Gary, march. Gary, Gary's Let's go asking to me to come talk to people. Behind the banner. Gary, you know oh, Gary. Gary's not here right now. Yeah, oh, right over there. And now the same terroristic intimidation of the free press from another camera. I'm also a gay man, and you do not represent true America. I don't give a fuck who you are. You're going to get the fuck out of here right now. And now brace yourself for the monumentally ignorant statement. If you are not on our side, you're a Nazi supporter. Watch this woman try to ruin his camera. There she is again, going from left to right, throwing the water, trying to damage the free press's equipment. Hey, my phone! <laughs> you're just getting baptized, don't worry about it. Okay? Right? Also, I'm, also, I'm also Christian. Yeah, you're a right. dick, is what you are. Your corp Get the your fuck out of here. And your face. Don't take my fucking yeah, right. picture. You free piece speech, of shit. Free speech is about the government controlling speech, not about the people. We all get to talk. Not just you. I fought to protect free speech. Uh, well, good for you. And I'm getting in your fucking face because I don't fucking like you. Now get the fuck out of here. I'm glad you like it, you sick fuck. The illiberal left, ladies and gentlemen, the regressive left. At some point, this man was victimized along with his son, apparently for having principles. This event takes place at the West Steps here. You can see this building in the background here if you look closely. Here is a street view of that spot looking in that direction. So you'll see this building here in the background of the video. And going by the direction and length of the shadow, I would say this is approaching noon. Teaching your son? I ain't teaching you what? I don't. 
<laughs> Everyone who disagrees with me is a Nazi. Freedom of speech and freedom of assembly is Nazism. Sure. The next thing we see on this video is this here. The father is pulling the son. Next, the video switches to this scene. Look, the police are grabbing the son, physically removing him from the scene. You'll see that they're doing the same thing to the father. They're making him leave the scene. And there go their constitutional rights. The terrorists have won. Here's the instant replay in real time. Here's the father being interviewed. They're all about diversity. Well, that includes everybody. Diversity includes everyone who has a dissenting opinion. And apparently they don't want, they don't want anyone dissenting from their way of looking at things without resorting to violence. Same scene, different camera. Listen closely to what the camera person says about the police. We are not letting their hate onto the Capitol. It's the first year they've actually let us take over the Capitol again. Well, they come about once a year. Usually the cops are standing there keeping us on the sidewalk and, like, accosting us. This year they're letting us get to them, which I don't understand. I'm very confused by this. So at least this guy's not completely delusional like these other people who were saying that the police were protecting the Nazis or that the police were the Nazis. We'll hear the same guy kind of say the same thing later on in the afternoon after other incidents happen. This is important to keep in mind, because while the police did not seem to be doing such a great job at stopping the terrorists from being stabbed, they also were not protecting the racists. In fact, as we will see, it seems as if the police set up a trap for the racists and threw them to the wolves. It was almost noon. According to various reports, there were 300 to 400 of the terrorists and about 100 police officers from different departments. There were about 20 to 30 of the racists and they were about to show up. Because they outnumbered the racists by about 10 to 1, the terrorists did not have to resort to violence to violate the racists' rights. They could have easily drowned out the racists by shouting altogether. But they chose violence. They came there to commit violence. Their goal was to terrorize. Again, the racists were supposed to hold their rally here on the West Steps. I don't think any of the racists ever made it to these steps. About 20 or 30 of the racists showed up, and before they can make it to the West Steps, they were attacked in this area here, within the Red Lines. The videos that I will show you of this confrontation are being taken in the direction of this arrow. You will notice a complete lack of police presence in any of these videos, although this is where the police sent the racists. 
what happened before the confrontation I'm about to show you on video occurred is pretty darn vague. I can only find one source that even seems to address it, and it's from this, the Traditionalists Youth Network website, with this article by Charles Adams, where he writes, When we went to that rally, we were expecting the police to protect our First Amendment rights like they're supposed to. Our party obtained a permit and came there with no intention of violence. We brought shields for our defense only as a precaution, not because we planned on causing problems. By the way, here are the shields. These are the Golden State skinheads. Take note of the middle guy, the tall guy. He's the one on the video that will viciously attack that other person that has already been wounded. By the way, his cowardly attack is glorified on the Traditionalists Youth Network website with this graphic of a still shot of that attack right here. The slogan, Goodnight Left Side, is not new. In fact, the lone racist was wearing a shirt with that slogan. The graphic, however, is new because that happened on this day, as we're about to see. But for now, let's get back to the article. When we arrived, the police told us to go around behind the building instead of coming through their barricades and going directly to the steps. This is where we came into contact with the Horde of Antifa. Somebody shouted, Hey, here they come! And the next thing you know, we heard shouting and cursing, followed by bottles breaking stones and bricks smacking against shields. We had two choices, act like cowards and run, or face the enemy head on despite the odds. We chose the latter. If this is true and accurate, then this would mean that the police would not allow the racists to make it to the west steps under their protection. This would mean that the police refused to protect the racists and allow them to be attacked by the terrorists. So much for protect and serve, huh? So much for constitutional rights. The terrorists are represented by the blue lines, the red lines represent the area where you can see the fighting taking place on the videos. The videos were being shot in the direction of that arrow. Be sure to watch part 3 because... And... 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 And...